Hey Alex. So remember when Hank Green was just really absolutely wild about the idea of doing frame by frame analyses of just bonkers music videos? Well, aren't you in for a treat today? So I love the One Direction enthusiasm, and he recently sent me several videos of One Direction to, you know, help me understand and process your feelings about them and also maybe to be able to tell Louie and Liam apart, which ugh, still a work in progress. So one of these videos though, the music video for Night Changes, is just absolutely wild to me in every sense of the word. Pardon my tea here, but I do have a little bit of a cold and the only way I'm going to get through doing all the talking I want to do in this video is by just constantly having warm tea. So it seems like the basic concept for this video is that the watcher is somehow going on a date with various members of the One Direction people, presumably at different times and spaces. Maybe these are supposed to be different people, but it's always me. And I have to say, it's incredibly creepy to me for some reason to see these people just like appearing to be making eye contact with me. It's like when I'm watching a music video, I'm not really asking to be involved in it. And it's very, very weird to be feeling like this. What's even weirder to me is all of the times in this video when it feels like a One Direction boy is really kind of infantilizing whoever it is they're supposed to be on a date with. Like, I can tie my own shoes and or ice skates. I don't really understand why Harry needs to be doing it for me. It's a little weird. So ostensibly the reason you sent me this video in particular is so I could get start to be able to tell this one uh, apart from this one, but I don't super understand in retrospect why you thought that was a great idea because like, look, they're the same generic white boy, same generic brown hair, same generic beige coat that really seems kind of weather inappropriate to be honest. I still can't really tell them apart and, you know, I don't know if this is the way to do it. And here's yet another time where Harry in particular seems to be really like getting down as though I'm a child. I don't really understand, like maybe I'm an extremely short person who's on a date with them somehow. I've double checked your text message so I now know that this car guy is Louis? Louis? Louis. And frankly, like every part of this whole car scene thing that happens was terrifying and uncanny to me. Like, I know that they are British, but it's so unsettling to have everything be flipped the wrong way around. Also, like, I'm too close to him right now. Like, I should not be that much in his space for him to be driving. And he keeps looking at me. This is so unsafe. I don't like it at all. This dog is the best part of the whole video. More, like, weird caring for me like I'm a small child. Like, presumably, I'm very capable of wiping my own face. Why does handsome man here have to do it for me. I didn't really understand why you said that Niall was the nerd character in this video, because I mean, I guess board games are kind of nerdy, but he's not even really playing like the nerdy board games. It's just like Monopoly. That's very mainstream. But then he tries to make the dog wave and I understand a hundred percent. So now we're at the part of the video where the night changes. Ah, oh, gasp. It's like the name of the song. Um, and things are supposed to get, like, terrible and horrible and things you wouldn't want to happen on your date, presumably. But, like, honestly, since most of this music video has been a little bit of a horror show for me, like, you know, things only got mildly worse. And just a lot more confusing. Like, here, mysterious chain guy is just arguing with me. Seems really, really upset about me. But then he's getting in my date's face. Like, I don't really get that. Maybe I missed something. Maybe, like, the no dialogue thing is like really taking away from the story here, but I don't understand the narrative that gets us to spaghetti on handsome man's head. Likewise, this is just horrific, absolutely insane. People don't do that. Like, this is a horror movie. Like, you cannot convince me that this is not meant to be just impossibly scary. And then like, what idiot thinks I want to do that? I don't understand. None of this, none of this makes sense. Terrible, terrible, terrible. And he deserves all of the injuries he gets for doing this. I think I figured
figured out a way to tell these two apart now because when under distress, this one really looks a lot like a Muppet. So maybe that'll help. Like I look at this man and I don't think of any song except like that classic from the Muppet movie, Am I a Man or Am I a Muppet? See, and here's another moment where I think, like, the whole concept of the video doesn't work with me, primarily because, like, I really don't fit in well with, like, the picture they're imagining of someone who's watching this video. Like, not only do I not really want to be on a date with any of these One Direction men, there's also this, like, picture they have of me that just so clashes with who I am. Like, wearing this hat. Like, first of all, I would never wear a hat like that. Second of all, why are they wearing it in an amusement park? Like, that wouldn't stay on on a ride. There's no reason for this hat. And now he's puking in it. Like, nothing good about this. I'm just so happy this man was arrested. Literally nothing else I want to come out of this scenario. See, here's a confusing thing. Besides the fact that I feel like all of the Nile parts are just, like, tacked on at the end, almost like they forgot he existed, or they forgot that you needed to have a narrative in this music video, it's also just sort of a weird narrative. Like, he has a guitar here. This guitar does nothing. Nothing happens with it. They just introduce it and then leave it behind forever. Now he's on fire and he's just standing there like an idiot. Like, literally, the first thing you learn is, like, stop, drop, and roll. And he doesn't do that. He doesn't do anything. So sad. <laughs> So having made it all the way through this Night Changes music video, I have to say that I think it's definitely weirder than the best song ever music video. That one just feels like bad high school musical fanfiction, whereas this one feels like surreal, terrifying, an experience that unsettled me in every sense of the word the whole way through. So really, a stunningly weird experience for a music video, especially one that was ostensibly probably supposed to be kind of sweet and funny. but. Yeah, no, I did not really know how to feel about that. <laughs> but I'm just seeing your Taskmaster song cover, and this is so much more exciting than One Direction. I'm a part three. I saw you listening to Moses Symphony. But my attention span is, hey, look at that tree. Always seeing you do cool stuff I try my best but it's never good enough I wanna serve you in Santos But it's a fantasy, it's nothing to boast You come from Southport, I live miles away in Belham And I'm a coward and I fear the wrath of Alan Always seeing you do cool stuff I try my best, but it's never good enough Good enough Always seeing you do cool stuff I try my best, but it's never good enough If it wasn't obvious, I loved that. I loved that. I'm gonna listen to it probably a million more times. Oh my goodness. I do have to say, like, with the One Direction thing, I've been enjoying the music, even if I've been completely, like, bewildered by the music videos and, you know, still not doing, you know, five for five on knowing their names, which really is not my fault. They could have had more different names. That's on them. But anyway, like, the music is fun, and this is great. It gives me so much good music this week, Alex. I can't wait to have all of it stuck in my head all of next week gonna be a fun experience. Ugh. And on that note, I guess I need to say, see you next week, Alex!